This is an absolute value inequality. Now notice this absolute value is not isolated. So before we do anything else, let's isolate the absolute value. Let's add 4 to both sides of this inequality. If I add 4 to the left side, I just have the absolute value of x minus 5. If I add 4 to the right side, I have negative 2 plus 4 or 2. And now I have an absolute value less than some positive number. For this absolute value to be less than 2, what's inside the absolute value bars? The x minus 5 must be between 2 and negative 2. So I have negative 2 less than x minus 5 less than 2. And notice this is a compound inequality now that we will solve. We solve by solving for x or getting x by itself in the middle. So I will add 5 to all three parts. So I have the left side, I add 5. The middle, I add 5. And the right side, I add 5. And let's see what we have. Negative 2 plus 5, that's 3. Less than, I have simply x less than 7. I have solved all numbers between 3 and 7 are solutions to our original inequality. Let's go ahead and write it in interval notation. And first, I will take a moment and graph it on a number line because I think it helps you when writing it in interval notation. So here's 3, here's 7, a parenthesis and a parenthesis, and that's all numbers in between. So there's the graph, and now write it in interval notation by simply writing what you've shaded from left to right. So parenthesis 3, comma 7, parenthesis. There's the solution set in interval notation.